Guys, Merry Christmas, Jingle Balls and all that jazz. So it might seem a bit early for Christmas videos, but I was visited by three ghosts in the night. They said I've got to change my ways, but I've also got to get down to Battersea Power Station because they've got a Christmas market and ice rink and loads of festive fun running from now until early January. So guys, I'm going to take you around today. I've never been here before, so everything you see I'm seeing for the first time myself. And let's go and see what it's all about. This is Battersea Power Station. Let's go. That is massive. Here we are, Battersea. You come out of the tube station, and you're right in the thick of it already. Look at this Christmas tree. Ooh. It's just weird that this place turned from a power station into a whole like shopping village. So if you walk around the power station, we're on the riverside. And look at this. The lights, the colours, <laughs> the chimney. It looks great at night. Let's go and have a proper look. I'll take a hundred of everything. It's 329 for 100 grams. One sweet is 100 grams. Right, so we've got a carousel. Hi. That dog is just chilling. Okay, so these are the guys waiting for their session. That's a nice big ice rink as well. So when the bell goes, it's just gonna kick off and all these people are going to just barge on. It's going to be anarchy. So I think this ice skating place is open till like 9 or 10 p.m. every day. And I think you can get tickets there, or well, there's a QR code, so you can book tickets online. But I reckon the closer we get to Christmas, the more it's going to kick off down here. So you'll need to uh, pre-book. See, if I was doing this, I'd just have to cling on to the side for dear life. You're never going to believe this, but this is the first ever vlog that I've done at night, in the dark. So if you can't see anything, I'm very sorry. And this is pretty cool. A gingerbread house, but just with Joe Malone products. That's why he keeps seeing this gingerbread creature about. Now that is a poser dog. <laughs> I'm going to get a coffee. I'm gonna get a beer and then I'm gonna go for a crap. Guys, also, if you've got any recommendations about Christmas markets or anywhere that's very festive for me to check out in the next few weeks, please do leave a comment down below. We've still got a few weeks left so I can, uh, I can go and explore a few more places. But yeah, let me know. Wow, look at these private pods. It's just like being at a ski resort. A bar which you can frequent and get inordinately p Yeah, you can book an igloo using a QR code. Everything's QR codes nowadays, isn't it? Technology's taking over, and soon AI will replace everyone and everything. Merry Christmas, though. This place is fantastic. Maybe it's because I haven't been here before, but I'm already getting into the Christmas spirit, you know? Just getting that warm, fuzzy feeling that you get. You know, like when you wake up on Christmas morning, and that's probably my favorite view. Lit up like that. It's extremely festive. I like the way that bridge is lit up. Is this the Thames? Can't really see it. There's the railway bridge there. What's that? Is that going to Victoria? And what does this pathway lead to? I feel like I'm going to the magical elf kingdom. Oh, there's a fox. Wow, this area of the river is so peaceful. So the power station itself was open until 1983 and then it was decommissioned. So it's been pretty much just sitting there for 30 years. I know about 10 years ago, they opened it up as an event space. It only opened as the shopping center it is now, this time last year, basically. So wow, this is so new. I'm here experiencing it all firsthand. This is a bit more rowdy. You know now, whatever the weather, sit outside and get a pint, even when it's six degrees. A nice £7.50 London pint. And they did do a few festive drinks in there as well, like mulled wine. Anyway, cheers. It's all coming back to me now. 
It's like that Celine Dion song. Am I enjoying this pint in the freezing cold weather? Yes. So this bar is connected to the ice rink. That sign says the ultimate icebreaker. Don't give me puns. I want data, statistics. One thing I would say, there's a serious lack of Christmas music around here. All I've heard is James Bay and Ed Sheeran and that sort of thing. But we want to hear a bit more Slade, a bit more Kirsty McCall and the Pogues. It's weird, you've got that old rustic looking brickwork. And it's all very new in here as well. It's the old mixed with the new. Nando's? No way. You've heard about Santa coming down the chimney. What about Santa going up the chimney? With lift 109, you can go to the top of the chimney. There's an observation deck up there with amazing views of London. I'm not going up there today because it is closed now because it's nearly 8 p.m. and it closed at six. But if you get in a ticket on the day, it's 23 pounds 60. I actually looked online earlier and if you book it online, it's like 16 quid for an adult. Ooh, look, a gift shop with postcards, snow globes, jigsaw puzzles. You could do your Christmas shopping and then come to CSC Champagne Bar. I think you could actually get lost around here as well. It's like so huge in here. Just look at how many Christmas trees there are. How many can you actually count? Comment down below if you can be bothered. I'm gonna guess that there's 30 on screen right now alone. At Christmas time, all you can ask for is a prep. If you've got a subscription like myself, then you will know exactly what I mean. And there's a cinema here as well. They're showing a haunting in Venice, the marbles and dream scenario. In terms of stuff to do in this shopping mall alone, it's like a very high-end lakeside. Cinema, bars, shops, Nando's, Nando's, Nando's. A bit of fine art for you there. You know what, some of these shops I've never even heard of. Poke House? Whatever happened to Topshop? H&M. I like this. Look at these characters. That Christmas aubergine there. The only criticism I can find of this place is that I can't find any way to get down. I mean, where's the escalator downwards? How do I get out? There you go. A deluxe advent calendar for £120.90. I think I'll stick to my dairy milk advent calendar. I think it's probably about three quid. And you know what? The weirdest thing about this so far is the fact that there's now just a tube station on the Northern Line just called Battersea Power Station. I mean, I think that only opened like in 2021, but now you can just get directly here. I'm not sure how you would have got it before. Are you feeling Christmassy yet? The answer is yes, you are. Whoa, that is a giant model. It says don't climb on it or touch it. Oh, is there actually a rooftop bit here? Not every day you see that. I've always wanted to play on one of these pianos, so here we go. A guy just came up to me and asked me if I play classical piano. Something tells me he may have been taking the p out of me. Lego Santa Claus, love it. I've not been into a Lego store in absolutely years. They used to have one down in Blue Water. Right, so this place is open, I think, seven days a week. I think Mondays to Saturdays, it's at least 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. So come down in the day, it'll probably be banging. Come down at night for a drink, it'll be banging. And you know, what I did like about tonight was how quiet it was. If you've watched any of my other videos, it's always been in these quiet little seaside towns and stuff. So being in central London, I thought it was gonna be absolutely rammed tonight, but the shopping center itself, very quiet. The ice rink a bit busier, but still, cannot complain. Let me know your thoughts. Have you been to Battersea Power Station? Please leave a comment down below. As it's Christmas, 
here's a Christmas joke for you. What do you do when you see a spaceman parking it? Right, so what did we think? I, for one, am pretty impressed with this little area. Seeing as though I've never been here before, I thought it was just gonna be a building with some other buildings around it. But it's very festive around here. Get down here if you can. Guys, if you like the video, please hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I'll have a few more festive videos coming up soon. Yeah, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Thanks so much for watching as always. I really appreciate it. See you later.